Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss how to land the right data science job. Now, why I'm making this particular video, guys, because recently one of my subscribers, you know, he joined a specific company uh, for a data science position. And after he joined, probably after 50 to 20 days, he's not actually liking the work because most of the work that he was actually given, you know, it is not related to much development, but instead related to data gathering, data labeling and many more things. And probably in the future, those kind of work may come. And he actually faced some kind of bad experience along with the work that he was actually doing. And uh, when he was trying to apply for jobs, he had definitely more opportunities. He was saying that, uh, Krish, I could definitely have searched for more and uh, probably got a new job opportunities. So uh, please probably make a video how to r land the right data science job. What should we actually look at in companies when we are getting some data science or data analyst kind of work? What are the questions that we should ask the company people or how to verify whether this particular company is good for data science or not. So all those kind of questions I'll try to cover in this specific video. So let's first of all uh, try to understand, suppose guys, if you feel, okay, and I've, I've probably given this kind of suggestion to many, many people, right? So um, a recent suggestion to one of my subscriber, uh, which I had actually given is that, um, Suppose if you attend the interview and probably you are able to perform well in the interview, you are getting the hike that you actually wanted. In During the interview time, you really need to ask more and more questions to the interviewer regarding the type of work that you are going to get in that specific company. Because understand you may be getting hired for a specific role and most of the time, most of the time, the technical recruiters will definitely tell you all the roles and responsibilities that you will probably be doing with respect to the company that you're going to grow as a data scientist or data analyst. In that point of time, probably you will be able to spend around 10, try to spend around 10 to 15 minutes asking different, different questions regarding the kind of work that you will be definitely doing. From there, you will be able to get most of the things that you're going to do in that particular company, in the type of projects that you're going to work and many more things. This is the suggestion that I have actually given to many of my subscribers and they have literally asked probably after the interview, they spent around 10 to 15 minutes discussing with the recruiter. This is the one way. Suppose uh, your, your interview went in a hurry bari, you are not able to ask most of the question. The second way is that with respect to whatever company you are actually going for whatever position, please try to find out relevant connections in LinkedIn, okay, from that specific company only. If you are able to find out some relevant questions, try to ask them like what kind of task uh, or what kind of work you usually get in that particular company with respect to any kind of projects, okay. You really need to contact those relevant connections because I also get questions like day before yesterday, there were people uh, who had got three, three offers. Okay. <laughs> there were people, yeah, they are our subscribers and students from iNeuron who have got three, three offers and they are really confused on which company to join. So when I had the discussion, the first question is that I asked, did you ask like what kind of job, uh, what kind of uh, work that you are going to get? Then they said, yes, I'm going to get this kind of work in this company, that kind of work in that company. And uh, in my third company, I'm going to get this kind of work. Then I said, okay, fine, awesome. All the work looks pretty much amazing. Now, if you really want to compare out of all these three, which one is better or what amazing kind of projects you may get, try to contact your LinkedIn connection. That's it. Now, some of the people, uh, that, that specific sub subscriber, he contacted around four to five people. And then, trust me, he was able to make the relevant decision, you know, in which company he was actually trying to join. Because those relevant connections tried to help him out. They tried to solve all their particular queries. They told about how many projects that specific company may be working with, what are the specifically the clients uh, they may be working with, all those kind of information you will definitely be able to get, okay? So this too may be the most amazing way that you can find out more information and definitely you will be able to build up your confidence in joining the company itself. Yes, 
if both the if all the companies are giving good good salaries i'll say whichever is the best hike just go for it but recently one of my subscriber faced this particular bad experience even though the company was giving the best salary he was not actually getting the good job kind of work itself and it may happen it may happen because the requirement may be delayed or that kind of project is only available so they may utilize you for that specific purpose right because now he is thinking that okay i will probably plan to switch again to another company he was saying that krish i have joined this particular company but uh, now i have also got uh, another offer from another company now can i just leave this company in two days <laughs> you know they'll definitely abs abscond you you know uh, if you just uh, leave that particular company within two days without uh, attending their entire uh, notice period or probation period at least uh, uh, so don't do that but instead before getting all the offers and before applying for the companies this try to get more and more knowledge about your work that you are going to do that will definitely help you out right so this is how you can actually get or land the right data science job uh, again don't uh, uh, feel bad uh, regarding the experience that you are regarding the work that you are getting sometimes you sometimes you can also be patient just be patient with respect to the work you will definitely be getting good opportunities good work even though you long work for a longer period of time initially if you are not getting try to get experienced you know don't make that hasty decisions right suppose now i have i've taken that particular job opportunity and i am going to work in that specific company okay fine first two months i may not got uh, i may not get some kind of good work first three months i may not get uh, kind uh, get a kind of good work it's okay you know at least get some experience see your surroundings how people are actually working over there by that also you'll be able to gain more and more knowledge right but yes after 6 months also if you are not able to get definitely make a switch uh, you know and uh, at least that much time i think if you have spent and even though you are not able to get make it but don't make hasty decisions okay so this was it from my side i hope you like this particular video please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel press the bell notification icon and i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you one all bye bye